Okay, so I was getting ready to do this Red Deer video. That's an albino <laughs> mythical puma? Which I think we just smoked? I can't imagine how that could have been anything worse than liver. I don't even... The amount of times this has happened recently. I fast traveled down here, literally just to wait, see if I could spot anything else at this lake. And then I was going to maybe see if any red deer came in, but... I wanted to start searching for a melanistic red deer today. Basically, I want to start working on respawns, the same as we've done with the Grizzly Bear and with the Whitetail. Specifically with stags, I really would love to get a melanistic stag. If we can find a hind, that would be great. But I have been saving my parquet for this particular video. A lot of you guys were asking on Friday's Twitch stream, like, why we were hunting Hirschfelden. And it was because I wanted to save this, because I do know that we could be lucky enough to have a melanistic just out here waiting. And I wanted to, you know, save the map for that just in case, but pretty much if we're a normal amount of lucky, I would say, we're going to be looking at shooting a lot of stags, hoping for respawns, and we'll kind of go from there. But, uh, yeah. Rather large albino puma to start with, we'll take that. He landed, like, in the reeds, so there's not much taking a screenshot of him in there. But yeah. He's point six away from a diamond albino pretty perfect double lung on the trot so i don't even have a decent black tail to do the uh collision multi-mount with him right now but certainly will tax demise that and another really neat albino added to currently the wrong trophy lodge because i can't get in mine but yeah we have that and now that we shot him certainly that's given red deer enough time to move into their zones so we're gonna start up here because this is probably the lake I find the most red deer at. So there's three stags in this herd. They just drink in the worst spot ever and like I can't see them. Yeah, that was probably too low. I really want to get the seven at least. So maybe. I feel like that shot was a lot better. But I didn't get to spot him for very long. One of them died. So at least we're going to get something out of that. I have no idea if we made a decent shot on the first one. Could maybe try to get that one too. I'm just going to use the 300. Just for the extra power. I think we got him. It is very difficult to try to get back on these and then respot them when there's 30 red deer in a herd. But at least two died here, so respawns. Actually, I think we got all three because there's a vital hit back here for the 180 to 210 track which I thought we shot too low on and the level 7 track also looks like we should have got him pretty good so I think that went just about perfect considering the herd fled before I can see them their zones like right there and it's just in a spot where I can't really see it unless I go really slow which I don't tend to do ever in this game sometimes I should but I sort of just run and try to spot stuff. But that's the first two we shot, I believe. And then we got to go back and figure out where the one I shot with the 300 was. But he did die. I'm just thinking maybe we didn't make as good a shot on that one as the other two. There's another stag up there, warning calling. I don't know where that came from. But yeah, there is a, just a flesh hit on the last one we shot with the 300, which... To be honest, that probably means switching to the 300 was a good decision because I'm not sure the M1 would kill a red deer with just a flesh hit. But I have no idea where this one was at. It's nothing special, but are we far enough? I mean, there's not a red deer zone here we're going to delete, so I think we're okay. Probably going to delete whatever feed zone this is. Black Buck, but I'm not worried about it. Yeah. It did go away, so not a big deal. Um, I've actually done pretty decent with Black Buck since the new scoring system. We got a couple of them. And I think I'm more interested in the Red Deer respawns than my Black Buck zones at the moment. But that's four down already, and we do have to go and find that uh, last one still. He was literally in view, probably, when that other one warning called. I just hadn't seen him yet, but I want to see where we hit that, because I actually thought that was one of my better shots of the three. Oh, you're just too high, okay. Well, then in that case, the M1 would have dropped it, but maybe a little more slowly. 
Not sure whether it's the Pumas that are drinking over there or what, but uh, only one female up at this lake. But uh, ow, this is happening. That level six actually could be pretty high scoring because it seems like those ones that have like the kind of droopy horns end up scoring pretty high. But coming up here has kind of led to this, so at least trying to survive. Can you just... There you go. Okay. So not this six. This guy has just 150 trophy rating. I think for some reason this one's going to score way higher. No, he's actually 144, so some of them that have these horns that dip like way down score super high. It could be because these are actually shorter than some of the other ones, but eh, decent hard shot anyway. That's one of the sadder red deer that we'll probably encounter today, but if we can get them, it will count as a respawn. That may have been a little far back, but I would say maybe liver at the worst. But I know I have a couple of red deer zones around this lake, and I don't know what he was doing. Maybe he was spooked from a puma, but he wasn't actually in a zone. You have to be kidding me. That's a piebald stag. I was just like slowly scanning around here looking for antlers because I figured there had to be a stag in this herd. How does this happen? Okay, so twice on the beta, looking for a melanistic red deer, twice on the trailblazer beta, I found, I think they were both piebald females. Now we're going for a melanistic red deer. And there's a piebald stag. I mean, I'm not going to complain. It looks like it may be the biggest rare red deer I've ever seen. But, just, I don't know. We found a rare on our first attempt, and it's not quite the one we're after. There's also a stag there that we need to shoot for respawns, but he has actually another six, which I think both of my piebalds in the past were level sixes. Just want to make sure we get a vital hit on him, and then where is the other one's right there? Missed the hard shot, actually. Let's see if we can get this guy on the trot real quick. I'm assuming we got a lung. I hope we did on the other one. Figures we nailed that. And yeah, single lung on him, so. I mean, that's really cool. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Just, I don't know, three times in a row. It's been the wrong rare. And it's actually been the same rare color, so go figure. Now, I think we have an albino uh, female stag. Just kind of that we've been waiting to put in a multi-mount. It's actually way too far forward on that. Just got lucky and hit the neck. Uh, but I don't think we're going to do the multi-mounts. I've heard multi-mounts are kind of maybe part of the trophy lodge issues that are happening right now. So we'll likely just end up setting this guy up normally. At least till that's fixed. But let's see. There's a low chance he could be gold. But nah, actually, he's close. It's probably the biggest piebald I've ever killed still. Or biggest rare stag in general. Just because he is pretty much at the weight where they could be a gold level 6. But I do think that changed just slightly with a new scoring system. I'm actually not sure 6s can make gold anymore. But I would say his low trophy rating. I believe level 7s can be that weight. So kind of unfortunate, but... It's a rare, and he's a decent size rare, so we'll definitely take that. And, I mean, we shot that tiny three over here. If it had to be one of the two, I'm glad it was the level six. But this is our three, and at this point, I don't know how many stags we've shot. A good number of them, actually. I just want to quickly look. You can see what I was doing before this, grinding whitetail. But seven stags? I think all of the red deer we've shot have been male so far, which it's not bad. But... Let's head up here, because it's another spot where usually there's a lot of red deer. Hi. Um. Where did... Okay, I guess I didn't get a lung. Where did you come from? I think I shot too far forward again. He's still running just slowly out there. The one time that I finally shoot him good is after I've already ruined the, uh... The two shots are less bonus, but I don't really know where... Maybe there's a drink zone back in here? Because that happens reasonably often where they just come running out of there, but I never know where they come from. But I wanted to come up and check this corner. Sometimes red deer drink here, sometimes they don't. 
Seems we have a puma there, so I would say it's rather unlikely that any red deer are hanging out there. Well, actually, there's one up there, but he is about to spook because of the puma. I don't know if that got a lung. I figure he was just going to run, and it definitely didn't get a lung. But... Throw another shot at him, just maybe see if that helps. I don't know how far it was. I'm guessing that was probably over 300. But... Yeah, if we can get him down for a respawn, that's better than having him flee because of the puma. And it did kill him, which I'm actually curious what we could have hit. Oh, we got him twice, so that second shot was actually pretty relevant. Honestly, we were fine. It was just the fact that there was that branch there that I had to shoot around. So it wasn't too far. But then we just got hit in the back of the leg, which was enough to end up actually bringing him down. So red deer drink time is pretty much over unless we can find a late zone. But I want to just get one more stag, and that would actually be uh, 10 on the hunt. I think I'd be happy with that, but maybe we'll try these spots real quick. I didn't actually expect that to work, but I thought I'd just come down here where I know red deer do rest. And they're totally just going to the rest zone right now, so if he would kindly give me a shot here. That'll work. That will be our 10th red deer, I think, though. It must have just got single lung. I guess the shoulder blade stopped a lot of that, but... Well, we could get an 11 stag as well, I suppose. Hopefully that's going to be long. Yeah, it'll work out. So yeah, that really slowed it down going through the shoulder. I don't think we could have reached the far lung anyway, even if we didn't hit the shoulder, though. He was a little more angled than I thought. But we'll go and get the other one, and then we have to head back to the trophy lodge, because... We have two more pretty neat kills to throw in there. Actually, that one even was double lung, not bad. But yeah, let's hop back to the lodge and we'll throw our puma and red deer in there. Somehow, all the stuff we're killing just has to be on full body platforms, so we're kind of having to spread out across this lodge already. But, piebald red deer stag. And then we're gonna throw our albino puma over on this side. And again, not quite what we're actually looking for, which has been the case with two of the last three kind of like, kind of grinding hunts, but some really, really cool kills. And honestly, we got a rare red deer, which is a pretty good start on our grind for a melanistic red deer. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.